Back to Charles Big Boss Crypto and today's special video we'll do a comparison between Chainlink versus Quant to see which coin is the best. So we'll take a brief overview between Chainlink and Quant to see what they're all about, their unique strengths and technology, technology behind each project, and then compare them to each other when it comes to partnerships and how tech works to see which one is the best. So without further ado, let's look at the charts. Alright, then so we'll begin to take a look at this article right here to get a brief review between Chainlink and Quant to see what they're all about. So, let's look at the similarities then. While both Quant and Chainlink help to facilitate communication of on-chain and off-chain data, these two projects are vastly different and help to solve different problems in their own respective way. While Chainlink is an oracle that mainly focuses purely on the communication of data, Quant also does this thing using their own network called the Overledger, which is targeted at the financial institu institutions, enterprises, and banks. Which is interesting to see right here, right off the bat, that they both aim to uh, solve the interoperability problem in two entirely different ways. More of that later. But as you see right here, Chainlink is the largest and most well-known Oracle in the cryptocurrency space, and is responsible for enabling a whooping $6.9 trillion in value. This is done through its Oracle, which allows smart contracts to access and communicate with off-chain data. And which is a strong point of the CCIP protocol that Chainlink has developed in order to basically bridge the gap between the real world and the blockchain world. And basically, in short, you have to solve the Oracle problem in order to do that. So that's what Chainlink is all about. And now, as you see right here, what is Quant? And Quant's an approach which focuses on improving the connection between blockchain and off chain data, powered by its software called the Overledger. Requant is the world's very first API connected gateway for blockchains. Through this, Quant is able to provide organizations such as banks, lenders, insurance companies, and more the infrastructure required to connect to multiple different blockchains. So basically, that's in a nutshell what Chainlink and Quant is all about. And basically, their own opinion on from the author of this article right here is Chainlink better than Quant. And he basically says that they are very different networks and do the and uh, they have one thing in common, which is basically a connection of different networks to basically solve the same goal. But we'll go in depth right here to why, uh, in comparison, compare these two projects and to see and present to you why one project is better than the other. And if you watched our previous videos on channel, you can already tell that we are big fans of the Chainlink project and talk a lot about the Oracle problem as well. So. Spoiler alert, we are much bigger fans of Chainlink than Quant, but let me convince you as to why objectively Chainlink is a better project than Quant and has more potential when we look at the technology and the connections with powerful people around the world. So, first of all, the Oracle problem and how to solve it. Basically, in short, the a major challenge for blockchain developers is that is the Oracle problem, which basically means that uh, in order for blockchains and basically all of the coins to, to cryptos to be useful, they have to get real world data through oracles. But the problem is that they have to have trustworthy and decentralized oracles in order to do so, which is what the Chainlink aims to solve through the CCIP protocol, which basically connects all kinds of blockchains to two oracles that provide real world data in order to bridge the gap between the real world and blockchains. So it's basically the solution to this problem right here. So basically, in short, as we see right here in this infograph right here, we see that all other crypto projects are connected through Chainlink Oracle networks. As Chainlink is not a blockchain itself, it basically connects the blockchains to its Oracle networks, which basically there's lots of proof if Chainlink built protocol working, and there's lots of uh, news like, for example, Swift right here. It's where the official confirmed that they are using the CCP protocol for blockchain interoperability to basically, for their money transferring services, use Chainlink's decentralized oracles to basically process their, their payments all around the world with both their own private blockchains and also other popular blockchains, like, for example, Avalanche, which has great potential as well, but that's off topic, or Ethereum, and, and etc. That, that Swift may use. And also, if you take a look right here, other big banks, such as Data Bank, for example, they say outright that Chainlink has potential to become much bigger than Bitcoin over time, as basically it's an increasingly critical up to the operation of blockchain infrastructure. In other words, they say that Chainlink is crucial in order to make blockchain develops, uh, develop and basically realize their true potential. And if you're still not convinced, 
The IC3 partners work closely together with Chainlink, especially with JP Morgan, where we did a recent video, oh, actually, why JP Morgan loves Chainlink. And also, we got other great companies like IBM, Intel, Microsoft, etc., that works together with this initiative to basically develop uh, cryptocurrencies and especially the Chainlink project. And if you're still not convinced, we got the great big group of people, such as Klaus Schwab, explicitly saying in his book, The Fourth Industrial Revolution, why Chainlink is basically the key in order to make the Fourth Industrial Revolution happen and basically uh, bridge the gap between, like I said, the real world and blockchain world to make business happen much, and uh, business contracts become much more efficient and also uh, make life easier for the back industry people uh, with, with the software they're using. And also we got Eric Schmidt, former Google CEO, becoming an advisor for the Chainlink project. And if you don't know who he is, it was the former CEO of Google for over 20 years. So without him, Google wouldn't be as big as, as it is today. And not only that, we also got Larry Fink basically confirming with, with his next agenda that tokenization is the next big thing in crypto uh, for basically mainstream industry. And basically, he was present at the cyber event, as you see right here, which is the, on the left, you can see the Chainlink CEO, uh, Sergey Nazarov. And also, if we zoom in on this picture right here, we can see, uh, oops, <laughs> never mind. Uh, <laughs> we can see Sergey Nazarov on the microphone right here, uh, speaking at cyber event. And as you see right here, the guy where I hold my mouse on is none other than Larry Fink himself, listening with a big grin on his face. So. You can already tell that Larry Fink loves the Chainlink project. But then you might think for yourself that despite all the uh, concrete proof I've been uh, presenting to you with Chainlink solving the Oracle problem, which is cru a crucial problem in the, bl in the blockchain industry, according to many developers that I've seen on social media and even talked to myself. And you might think that Quant's solution is better anyways. That doesn't even address the Oracle problem at all. Let me illustrate to you what the top level banking industry people in the world think. In the cyber summit, for example, which was recent, recently a couple, a couple of months ago, we can see right here that Sergey Nazarov, the CEO of, of Chainlink, was pre presenting the Chainlink project and CCIP solution in front of the top and most powerful banking banking people around the world, taking the front stage of the cyber summit. And here you have the Quant CEO basically outside of the cyber summit in a parking lot, conducting their own interview on their own channel not having an audience at all. I mean, they're just standing outside outside of the event and just talk, talk for themselves, which is pretty comical, to be honest, when you think about it. And further proof is on this tweet right here, basically, <laughs> uh, being pretty ironic right here, that big if true, Swift to sign a contract with Quant and into partnership with, with Chainlink. The deal will take place in the parking lot that Cybos in less than 24 hours. <laughs> But yeah, jokes aside, anyways, I mean, you can already tell what the backup like, people truly think and where their attention lies. The, the attention focuses on Chainlink in the main event right here, and no one is outside seeing the event that Quant has at the parking lot. That's all from me. Thanks so much for your time. Leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, leave a dislike if you didn't. Now, please note, this is not financial or investment advice. This is only for educational and entertainment purposes only. This is Big Boss Crypto, the recent free of crypto YouTubers. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Big Boss out.